This video will show you how to create a 3D building information model using a point cloud processed in Recap, modeled in Revit, and coordinated in Navisworks. To start off, let's bring together a point cloud captured with the Leica BLK360 Imaging Laser Scanner and a point cloud created from photos from an aerial drone. We'll register them together in Recap. If we go into real view mode, we can take measurements, add comments, and share the project with everyone involved. Next, we need to clean up the point cloud and prepare it to be used in Revit. There are tools we can use to quickly select objects like an entire floor at once. Once it's selected, we can tag it, put it in a group called a region, and hide it. Now, we'll do the same thing with the ceiling. Let's quickly select all of the points that make up the ceiling, put them in a region, and turn them off. If you want to clean up points that aren't relevant to your project, like this ladder, you can delete them. Here, we are creating a section view to help us make a 2D floor plan in Revit. We'll bring the point cloud into Revit where we can use it to produce either a 3D model or a 2D floor plan. Let's look at the elevation view of the entire point cloud and add in elevation notations. These are notes architects typically add in the design phase to indicate the floor-to-ceiling or floor-to-floor -floor heights. Let's change the points to a single color. This will make it easier for us to see the section of the point cloud. Now we'll add some dimension notes for our floor plan drawing with the dimensions that we want to highlight for this project. Back in the elevation view, we've created some Revit window objects by tracing them from the point cloud. Now we'll just copy them in the elevation view for the rest of the building. The grid line numbering scheme is another note often added in the design phase of a project. Since we've got the columns in the cross section view of the point cloud, it's easy to place the grid line annotations. In many Autodesk products, you can import point clouds from Recap into the design tools where you're creating 3D BIMs, floor plans, and so on. You get seamless and consistent interoperability across Autodesk products, supported by Recap technology. Here in Navisworks, you can also bring in the Revit BIM together with the 3D point cloud. Then, in Recap, you can import the Navisworks model back into the full point cloud where you can overlay the model with the photos that were taken for the scan project. So now, you've got the real-world images combined with the 3D geometry from Revit. Using this combination of model and point cloud project, you can create some pretty interesting 3D visualizations to help with staging your projects or for quick snapshots. It's also possible to get an augmented reality-like view of your projects. You can export the images from Recap or even make videos in Recap using these visualizations. We'll bring in the Navisworks model, which was created in Revit. Back in Recap, again, you can see the visualization when you combine the imagery from the Point Cloud project with a 3D model. Recap, Revit, Navisworks, and a range of other tools are all available through the Autodesk AEC collection.